Welcome back to another famous unboxing by the Game & Watch Bros. Now, I understand that you're seeing Stevie instead of Mike right now. It's because Mike was in a car accident. So, he took some time off. He needs to get his stuff together, get his mind together, and kind of move on past the car wreck. Great news is, is he wasn't hurt. And I know that was going to be your first question because you are good people. But he did take some time off, so Steve's going to be joining me. I don't know for how long, but she is going to help me check out these wonderful figures. Now we've been talking for a long time that we're going to do things differently, and we're going to. And you'll see today. But before we get into that, I do want to give you a little bit of information. This is the Sideshow 1-6 scale. Superman. I'm super excited about this because I'm a huge, huge Superman buff. In fact, I've got a shield tattooed on my arm. You may remember it from a past show uh, where I was wearing a sleeveless shirt. But that's neither here nor there. I'm super excited about this guy. He's, from what I can see, he's super detailed. And I'll show you what I'm looking at. And on top of that, the box looks fantastic. I kid you not, Sideshow did not drop the ball thus far. So, I'm hoping for fabric clothing, which I know we'll get. I'm hoping for a cool base with a Superman emblem, which I know we'll get a base, but I don't know if it'll have the Superman emblem. And I'm super excited to see what type of accessories what type of heads come with them. Hopefully we have one with the heated eyes, like he's about to lose his, use his laser vision. But we'll have to see. What about you, babe? What are you hoping? Um, I mean, you know me, I'm all about the detail. I'm not as big of a Superman fan as he is. I guess he just has a thing for guys that wear their underwear on the outside of their outfits. But if it's got enough detail, you know, that's what I'm excited about. If you can look and see what you're looking at and if the eyes look real enough to draw me in and creep me out, you know, it's got my thumbs up. Well, you guys have waited long enough. Let's check this bad boy out. You guys saw it up close and personal. Now it's time to do what we do best. Rate the figure. Babe, I'll let you go first. I'm probably going to just give it a two thumbs up. Because I think the only detail I like the most on him is his eyes. And I really like the uh, little city that was captured. But I didn't like how the stand was put together. So, and. I don't know. I'm just not a big Superman fan. It's probably just two thumbs up for me. So, I'm going to have to give this three thumbs up. Uh, I'm with Stevie. I hate the stand. Terrible stand, Sideshow. I don't know what the hell you were thinking with this stand. Terrible stand. Two, the base. You included a base to hold the stand, but it, there's no Superman symbol on it. With that being said, I do love the miniature Krypton. I do love the Kryptonite which you guys could have made that glow just saying and then you know the hands and the alien face hugger thing you know the great accessories but you should have gave him another head with the heat vision another head looks like he's blown out with the super breath you know something 
more than what we got. Again, I love the Kryptonite, I love Krypton, uh, but they're just more heads and a way better stand. I don't know what the hell you guys were cheap, that's it, you guys were being cheap. Maybe it just needs an instruction manual, I don't know. But, uh, if it wasn't Superman, it'd be two thumbs up, but because it is my boy Blue, I give him three thumbs up, and uh, that's what we ran him. So, as always, thanks for playing with us. See you later. Next time, take the fucking hit!